Hello, good afternoon. I'm Lutra FM again, bringing you episode 25 of the So Show You Phone You Say. Just going to show you a shirt that I bought a couple of days ago. Got it yesterday um, from Surprise Shirts. So this is Shoreline United. Uh, that's their logo. And then basically this is their home shirt as well. And it's really nice. It feels really nice as well. I looked online and it costs about $60 if you were to buy it. So I did really well, I think, um, considering it, the, the mystery box was about, I'll be back in a second with the, uh, tell you what will happen in the so show say. See you in a second. Right, I'm back. So basically what I decided to do is, um, there wasn't really anything worth playing for. The, the highest we could have got was seventh. Um, so I just decided to holiday the last four games. I just didn't see the point in playing them live. Um, and bizarrely, I think I need to do this more often. Um, our assistant manager, who was probably good in for my job now, managed to beat uh, Valencians 5-1. So we'll just watch the goals here. Right, so I haven't watched these goals, by the way. I know that we've won. I haven't watched the goals, so it'll be new to me. Lovely little shot there. Who scored that? Uh, Bizarre, I think. Good goal with him. Uh, Tete gets the ball off in Vaz. Oh my God, look at that for a shot. That's like a Tony Yeboah shot, that is, isn't it? Do you remember that goal that Tony Yeboah scored? That volley that hit the bar about three times before it went in. Great goal. But uh, we're destroying them in this game. Ah, uh, gets disallowed. I have news about Weisbeck. He has gone to another club. Uh, I accepted an offer of 675k for him. I will... Show you that in a minute. Um, Tete. That. Didot. Didot doing well on the left. He would be a natural um, replacement for Bizarre. But yeah, so we won 5 1 in that game. It looked like a really good game of football, actually, to be honest. Uh, and then we beat Bastia 2 1. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful scene and bit of scenery there, everyone. And we'll watch the goals for this one. Uh, and Vaz. Passes it to Pizard. Pizard then sets up Moisbeck and Moisbeck scores with the tap in. Ooh, good tackle there. And then Moisbeck carries on and just scores a beautiful little goal there. Uh, and then I think I'll see him. This will be Bastia's goal coming up now. Not that we're that bothered, but see if it's a good goal. Oh my God, that was a hell of a goal, that was. Let's watch that. Oh no, I won't, I won't, it won't let me watch it again. That was a great goal by Bastia. Fair play to him. Uh, we drew 2-2 with Troy's, so a replay of what happened last time. Um, and they, they've done the same thing again, the buggers. So we were winning 2-0, and then they got it back to 2-2, annoyingly. Nice to see a, um, a variant of goal scorers. Kofi, in the end, only finished with 14 goals. So he had 10 goals quite a few episodes ago. ago. So he kind of his form kind of dipped at an important part of the season. I think if he was in form... Um, I think we would have probably gone higher than we did. But we managed to get to seventh place in the end, which was better than I thought that I was uh, expecting us to do in the last four games. I just assumed we'd lose one or two, draw one, win one or something like that. But we, uh, yeah, we managed to... Oh, my God, that was a great goal by then there. Look at that. But, yeah, we managed to get to seventh place. I'll, I'll show you the table in a minute. We've just got one more game to show you. 4-2 versus saying it wouldn't be too much if we sold Kofi because we can get quite a bit of money for him. Um, I'm not, not that I want to sell him because he is my favourite player in the team, I'd say. But at least we know Vaz can step up. I decided to offer him a new contract in the end, Vaz, because um, I didn't want to sell him. And I'm glad I didn't because he's, he's really hit form at the right time at the end of the season, proving me right for keeping him. Good over the top ball to Fatar. Fatar just runs it across and then blasts it in the bottom corner. Corner. Nice little set piece there, Diagne. So that's that. That's that's the um that's what happened in the four games. So we'll have a look now where we ended up. So as I said, we ended up seventh in the league. And um yeah, seventh in the league, 51 points. So we're eight points away from the playoffs. But at one point we were 10th, so I feel like that's a really good accomplishment. Uh, I mean, I'd have been happy with 10th, to be honest, but that's really good. 
So 34 games played, 14 wins, 9 draws and 11 losses. I mean, you look at the 11 losses, a lot of these were against really low-down teams, which is really frustrating. Uh, Bastia, Orleans, FC, um, NSC, Valencia, uh, Valencians, uh, Poir. They're all like mid-table to bottom. So we did well against the top teams, but didn't do well against the bottom teams. But we did well overall. Kofi wasn't, unfortunately, anywhere near the goal-scoring uh, goal charts. And we'll just quickly show. So Orcs have got promoted as champions. And then Mets got promoted. Let's have a look at the promotion. So Angers beat Grenoble 3-0. And then Troyes beat Angers 3-0. Um, and then Dijon are playing all leans. Uh, and Troyes um, versus Brest. So we look at if we look at League One now. Paris, PSG, sorry, were champions. Uh, nice second, Monaco and third, and Marseille fourth. Nice to see Le Havre, Le Havre doing well there. Um, my three favorite, well, three out of my four favorite French teams: Le Havre, Lens, and Rennes. Lens and Rennes, there you go. Leon did well after getting promoted last season. And then Strasbourg went straight back down again, so they're probably going to be favourites to go back up. And then you've got Lorient and potentially Brest. So it's going to be tough next season. We might struggle to get in. We might, hopefully we'll get in the playoffs, but we might struggle. Right, so we're back. Um, I've fast-forwarded it through pre-season. Um, we are on a, a first game of the season. So um, what we're going to do first is I'm just going to give you a bit of update on what's happened the transfer wise. So uh Carzenti's left, uh Rivier's left, but we didn't want Rivier to left leave, but he wanted to go on to Bosman, so we just took what we could for him. Annoyingly we didn't get a future fee for him. So it's a bit frustrating, but there's nothing we can do about it. 37 and a half K is better than nothing. Um we also got rid of De Costa, sent a few players, new players on loan. Um let me just check the season before in case there was anything we missed. Um Isanga's gone on loan, Samasa's gone on loan, Mustafi's gone on loan. We got rid of Sikor, uh, Sikuna Kamara because he just wasn't good enough. Um, let's see if there's anybody else. Obviously, Pazard's gone, 300k. Um, and then we've sent a few other players like Patricio and Pelizard out on loan as well. So Isanga being the biggest one, hopefully he can impress on loan at Dijon. Um, so that's that done. I don't think there's anything else. Let's just check. Potentially got Deho going out on loan with hopefully um hopefully end up selling him at some point. It's just I just don't rate him enough. So there's that. So then let's have a look at let's have a look at season preview. Let's see where they reckon we'll end up. So even though we finished seventh last season, they think we're gonna finish thirteenth. Um, which is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. We'll just prove them wrong again. Obviously, the favourites is going to be... Oh, no, favourites aren't Strasbourg, which I'm surprised about. Brest is, Brest is the favourite. Um, put your joke in there. But, yeah, Lorient, Strasbourg is going to be fourth. Angers is going to be second, according to this. We're nowhere near this, but, you know, 50 to 1, I'd, uh, I'd put a fiver on that. You never know. I feel like this season is going to be a good season for us. But I say this, and then it'll probably... Turn into a disaster. I think that's pretty much Deo's in the team for now, but he won't be after after a while because he's going to go out on loan. So it'll be the usual three here, and then maybe Passard's not here now, so it'll probably be Delot or something. But yeah, uh, Didot, sorry, Didot, not Delot. Um, but yeah, let's see how we get on. I went to bed a bit early last night, so I recorded the game and I'll watch it later, but I know the score anyway. Right, Fatah. Ooh, just over. So we already have to take our goalkeeper Dosu off. I mean Dosu I think I'm gonna get rid of Dosu. He's too injury prone. He's like um Weisbeck, he's a good player, but he's too injury prone. So I'm gonna to look to get rid of Dosu after this game. If he's not too, he might be, might be uh, injured for a while, so I won't be able to sell him. But 
I'll be looking to move them on as soon as I can. Uh, Valencians in possession now. Great cross, great goal. Probably offside though. Apparently, according to what I saw yesterday, they're on about looking into scrapping VAR. I can't see it happening, but it'd be great, honestly. But it wouldn't be great in a way because we did need some sort of VAR or a little bit more streamlined, easier for people to understand the reasons why they've decided on that one. I think it will help with the ref, the ref camera if they're implementing that soon so people can hear what the ref's saying so they can understand why the ref's decided what he's decided. Uh, Dea with the cross. Win leads to it. Still nil-nil. Quite a few highlights in the game so far. We've been playing well. Got quite a few decent midfielders because I've got De Silva that can play there as well. So if I did sell Drame, it wouldn't be a big loss because he's 27 as well. So I think his time is up. He has obviously been a good player for us, but I always want to make sure we've got fresh blood in here. Good pass. Oh, Tete, just before you come off, you score. You little beauty. Great contribution for him before he goes. They can equalise. No, good save by Guagun. So our usual goalkeeper, uh, Pavel, is a bit injured at the moment. Or else he'd be playing. But yeah, Guagun's Gurugun, a good backup for pop out, uh, Doss is too injury prone, so he's got to go for that reason. I mean, when you've got a goalkeeper that's injury prone, it just, tell, it, just, it just tells you he needs to go. Goalkeepers don't really get, I mean, there are exceptions, but they don't really get many injuries because obviously um, they're not running around the pitch as much as the other players. They still move about a lot, don't get me wrong, but um, less, there's less risk of them getting injured. Um, well, no. Oh, I thought they were going to score then. Fortunately, Kofi's not playing well. Try encouraging him. Hopefully that'll help. No, not the best of clearances there was that, Gurugan. I've just been bigging you up as well. Don't start letting me down already. Ah, oh, I just knew that was going to go in. 1-1. Right, let's put put him in a more favourable role that he likes, pressing forward, support, and then we'll have you as a advanced forward maybe. Is that his best position? Yeah, advanced role, sorry. We'll do that. Put these up, we'll put him up here. And then what we'll do is if he gives me a chance, we'll go attack him. Hopefully that will help. Go fire up, let's fire up the players, see if that'll help. A couple of minutes left. Valencians are in possession. Let's see if we can get the goal, uh, the ball and counter-attack from this. We do, we intercept, we get the ball, fireball, fireball, sorry. Galvez gives it to uh, Kunzler, gives it to Vaz. Vaz, beautiful ball. Get in. You knew that was going to go in. Well done, Kofi. Great goal. Nice to see Kofi getting one there after he was uh, not playing particularly well. That uh, tactical change I did work to our favour. So that's a good way to start the season. So we're now playing Strasbourg. No, uh, Nadilu has gone, um, wasn't good enough, so he's gone. And then we've sent one of our highly rated central defenders, uh, Bertrand Paisley, has gone on loan, and so has Boata. Released um, Dosso as well because we had no offers for him. His contract was expiring in about less than 12 months anyway, so we just got rid of him basically. That's that. But he's really good, he is, he could easily take his place. 18 years old, really good, did well on loan last season. Um, so, yeah, so he'll be in a, a very good replacement. And then I think that's pretty much the same team. Oh, we got Gillian. So Alexis Gill, you'll get to see him for the first time. 
hopefully he'll impress. Uh, Favor is in as left wing, so that's good because he's he played really well. Like you know, you, was it a year or two two years ago he played. I swear he played once. Or, oh, he hasn't played for us. I stand corrected. I swear he played in the he played the France. Uh, I mean, there's only two games played, but yeah, the, the morale might not be good. Oh, there you go. Prove me wrong. Equaled us on points now. Four each. 14 minutes gone, first highlight, and they bloody scored. They've got another highlight in their favour. Goal. Two nil down after 31 minutes, not the best of starts. Let's try berating the team, see if that'll do anything. Oh, that's not been a help, is it? No way. Tar is out of the match. Right, we got a throw in. Let's see what we can do. Can we get a consolation goal here? I feel like Strasbourg are going to absolutely thrash us in this game by the looks of it. Especially now we're down to 10 men. Good ball though. Vaz with the ball. Got a couple of players against him. Oh, look at that. Lovely little setup play there. Vaz to Kofi. 2 1. Despite us being a man down, we've managed to get a goal back. We're playing better with 10 men than we did with 11. Try encouraging the players, see how that goes. Galvez is not playing particularly well. Neither is Diagne or Bastion. So obviously clearly here the defence is letting us down a bit. Uh, Favour's not playing well either, but we can't take everybody off because in this case we get injuries. So I'm just going to wait a bit before I make a decision. Strasbourg with another goal coming up here. Toying with us, aren't they? Oh, uh, poor finish in the end. Oh, headed out nicely. Gil gives it to Baz. Baz, oh, nearly got Kofi, uh, nearly went it across to Kofi there. Hill seems to be doing all right in his debut. Good tackle, fortunately, leads to Strasbourg scoring, but could be offside. A lot of our players had their hand up way before uh, Nemetra scored that goal, so hopefully that means, yeah, that's good. Gives us slight hope of getting something. Right, after this highlight, I'm going to take some players off, I think. Good tackle by their favour. I think it's just a matter of when, not if Strasbourg scoring again. Oh, no, no, no. Go on, Gil. Beautiful over the top ball to Vaz. Vaz, can you do what you did last time, please? Gives it to Tete. Tete to Kofi across to Favour. Favour all the way back to. This is not him. This is not. Oh, no. Get in. Go on, Vaz. Vaz learning how to header from Kofi. 2 2. Who'd have thought we'd be drawing 2 2 with Strasbourg after 61 minutes with a man down? Right, I will wait and see what this highlight brings first before I will take any players off. So now I'll take Tate off because he's knackered. Favour can come off because he's tired. And then we'll figure out the rest in a second. This is a... Well, you never know. We might get a sneaky win here. I don't think it's going to happen. I think we'll be lucky to get anything out of this game. I think Strasbourg's toying with us at this point. I think it's just. I think they're just setting us up for a crushing blow here when they score the winner. Good tackle, Galvez. Sort of. Goodbye, Baz as well. Baz is playing really well this game. Fair play to him. Uh, put Kunza on. Not an idea. Ah. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it now anyway. I'm going to have to go all out here. Right. Kunzler on the right. So we'll push him there. Him here. Like so. And then I think that's fairly good. Attacking and 
And what we'll do is go fire up. This worked a trick last time. Let's see if it will work again. Probably isn't going to work this time. Nah. Oh well, we did well to get it back to 2 2 with a man down, so can't complain too much. Right, so we're now playing Orleans next. We do have a decent record against them, I think. Um, result still stays in goal, and then the rest is the same. No, headed wide. First highlight goes to them. Luckily, they didn't score from it. Oh dear, this is not good. Awkward save. I mean, I'm, I'm a typical uh, ignorant Englishman. Right. Oh. Did up with a beautiful corner that unfortunately got headed wide. Hopefully, he'll play better in this second half. They're going to score. Yep, yeah, just knew it. We'll do that. We'll see what happens there. See if that brings us any better. Runs left, gets tackled. We haven't got a lack of options on the left by the looks of it. Baz not playing particularly well in this game. Might have to take him off in a minute. Right, let's try to demand a bit more so that gets us. That free kick didn't lead to anything. Right, corner to us. Let's see what we can do with this. Sadly, nothing at the moment. Kunzler with another chance, though. Passes it to Diagne. Diagne across to Gil. Gil with the shot gets deflected. Uh, got another corner. Kunzler with a free kick. Gets headed out, goes back to him though. He passes it to De Silva. De Silva across to Diagne. And now Tete. Nice bit of passing transitions going on here, but nothing particularly coming from it. Back to the goal, uh, goalkeeper. Uh, Bossy. See if we have better look on the left side than we did on the right. Matthias though is going to send it straight across on the right side to Silva. Rolls it nicely, gives it to Gil. To Tete, Tete with the overtop ball to Nabo. Oh, come on, Cody. He usually better. Um, they've got a free kick and now they're in possession. All the ends look like they're going to win this. I think they're going to score again. Yep, they are. Uh, why do we always play better against the bigger teams? I don't understand that. Against the small teams, the teams that we should be beating every time. We're not. Then again, they have won two games out of the three that they've played. So they're doing all right this season, all means. Yeah. That's that then. Oh, well. Right, we're back and we're playing um, a team called... Concarno. Tiles back is on the left for a change because of um, Didot being injured and our lack of options there. So we will probably more... Likelihood is, is this will be the, the four that you'll see, the forward four you'll see from now on. It'll either be Qatar on the right or on the left, and then it'll either be Kunzler or Didot on the other side, and then Kofi and Baz up front. Hopefully Kofi can get a goal today, because he does concern me with his lack of goals. I think this is a game we should be beating, uh, should be winning, but then I said that against Orleans, so we'll see. Uh, we keep passing it around nervously back to the goalkeeper. This is quite concerning. This is going to lead to a, us losing the ball in it. No, no, we've still got it. Fatah. Is it to Kofi? Kofi now passes it to Kunzler. Kunzler drives it forward. Looks up, gives it to Galvez. It was too, it was too fast for me to comment on there. A couple of little passes and then the ball went, uh, the shot went wide. We get a win. We should get a bit higher up that league. Uh, let's try and get on a good run, starting with this game here. Good interception there. Tete gives it to Kunzler. Kunzler seems to be the driving force creativity for us now. Oh, that was a bit of a cock up there by the goalie. Lucky to not concede that goal. Kunzler. Yep, 
leads to nothing. Bastion passes it inside to Bossy. Bossy gives it to Gil. Gil now. Galvez gives it to Kunza back to get, uh, back to Galvez. Galvez knows how to cross the ball. Does straight to Kofi. Scores a beautiful header. Good to see Kofi getting a goal. 1 0 to us. We've got a free kick for Tar. Oh, look at that. Literally another header goal there by Kofi. Pretty much identical to the last goal he scored. Can you get a hat trick of headers in this game? We will see. Galvez he keeps possession here. We might be able to. But playing. Uh, again, on the wings has done us well here. Both times we've scored. Playing for set pieces has done well as well. We've had uh, scored one from a corner and then one from a cross. So. Probably pushing the ball across to the wide areas is benefiting us. Ooh. Just getting the, uh, closer to the playoffs every time. My aim is to get higher than seventh this season, but if I get seventh, I won't. I won't be too downhearted about it. Anything less than that, I'll probably be a bit gutted about. All right, two one. Goal probably won't be allowed though. Let's see what the VAR says. Yeah, got awarded. Okay. First half ends with oh no, there's another highlight. Gil passes it inside to Vaz. Vaz goes across onto the wing, gives it to Kunzler. Kunzler breaks it past the players and oh, nearly sets up Vaz there. Because whenever we start conceding, it really does affect the players' morale. They don't seem to be able to uh, get back into the game after that. They just seem to. Down tools, which is not good. Come on, let's get the ball off them. Yes, well done. Galvez. Now Gil, back to pop out. Gives it to Bossy. Bastion. We definitely miss pop out. I think he does give us that extra bit of... Oh, Jesus Christ, what was that? Ah. Oh. Let's hope VAR comes to our rescue. Come on, VAR. Don't allow, don't allow this goal. Oh, for God's sake. Great. Right, I'm not happy. We lost a 2 0 lead here now, and that was 2 2. Bastion needs to come off. We'll put on nobody because we haven't got anybody. Bossy. Actually, I'll swap. Um, I'll do it in a minute. Right. Tunsler, is he going to contribute before he comes off? No. Let's see what happens from this corner. Hopefully it'll lead to a goal. Galvez. Oh, nearly. We can't, we can't draw this game. Come on. For the XG, 11 shots, 5 and 12, 1.68. In fact, I'm going to do some tacticalness here. Um, I pressed the wrong thing. I need to do instructions. That's what I meant to do. Uh, that's what we do. We'll do that. Play for set pieces. Run at defence. Sorry, dribble S. Run at defence. Wide. And we'll go attacking. See what that brings us. Hopefully, will bring us the goal. Mm, maybe it won't. Running out of time here. Mm, no, nah, it's not happening. Oh, that's such a bloody shame that is. We we should have done so much better with that. On that note, um, thank you to everyone who watches this episode in advance. Thank you to the people who have been watching all the episodes so far. Um, hopefully we can push to get to the playoffs this season and then see how we get on in League 1. That's when it gets really exciting in League 1 because our youth players will become more touted. So that's when we'll start making some good money and then just bring in, keep bringing generation after generation of young players through. So that's where the excitement begins. But we're, for now, we're doing well. We're building a, a, a dynasty here at Socio through the youth, rank, uh, youth Academy. Sorry, 
But yeah, thank you as always. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you haven't liked the video, if you like the video, like the video, click like, that's what I meant. Um, and yeah, thank you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.